Sometimes as you're finishing after well, you get your last pair like this and it looks like OLL is pretty much solved. But once you solve this pair, the OLL is not solved. So today I'll teach you how to skip OLL for these cases. So starting with this case where you have white on top and you just need to insert that last corner, what you can do is triple sledgehammer and sledgehammer being R prime F R F prime and just do that three times and then that solves OLL. So triple sledgehammer is very easy to remember, but it's not that fast because you have to regrip your hand. So instead, a faster way is to put the corner at the back, move this edge behind it like that, and then just solve this F2L case. And also since for F2L cases, you want to be able to mirror them from the back as well, then if you get this from the back, it's easier to do this rather than to regrip both hands and do triple sledgehammer from the back. It's easier to just take this edge out like that and then do this case. If you have a corner with white on the side, so what you do is move this spot over to here by doing L D prime. And then we insert this corner into its spot. So like that, and then undo the first two moves. So D L prime, and now faster. So now if white faces the other way, the simple way is we're gonna do a cube rotation, but then I'll show you how you can do this without a cube rotation. So first it is just the mirror of the other case. So we're going to do R prime D and then insert this corner over to here and then D prime R to undo that and faster. Now here's how you can use these two algorithms to solve this case from any angle without rotating. So all you have to do is get the corner on the front side like that, and then get the unsolved corner directly below it. The rest of F12 doesn't have to be aligned. It just has to be this above this. And then you do the corresponding algorithm, this one inserting it this way, so like that. And then all you have to do is undo whatever D move you did in the beginning to restore F to L. So another example, if you got it from here, then what you can just do is put white on the front side right here, and then take this one and put it directly below it. Then just do the corresponding insert and then undo the bottom. Now there is another one that you may find faster that I'll just show here, although you only have to learn one of these ways. And that is by putting the corner back here and doing it like this. You can do this as well. You may find it faster, but it's less intuitive, which is why I taught the other way instead. I just wanted to show you that there is this other option as well, and you'll have to learn to mirror it to the back or to the left and so on. So if you just have one edge here, attach it to its correct center like this, and then take out this back pair, take out the next back pair, R prime, and then put these all back in. So the finger tricks are very similar to a U perm. This algorithm is often done better from the back because it has easier finger tricks from here. But again, you have to be able to do it from here or here, or if it's on the left side, front or back. So from the back, it would look like this. And faster. So now for cases where the corner and edge are both in the top layer and the rest of OLL is done. So here, what you do is this. So that part is a little bit hard to remember, but then it's actually really fast. And then you just insert this pair. So faster is like this. And just as a bonus tip here, if this block is done, but you still have this one that's facing forward, then there's actually another way you can do that's also good to know. And that is by doing R U2 R prime and then solve this F2L case, which is like this. And lastly, this same case block is at the back and yellow is on the side here. What you can just do is insert this edge. And that gives you a case I already talked about. So for this case, you can just put this edge at the back and do this F2L case. For this F2L case, if all of the OLL is solved, then what you can just do is insert the edge here like that. Now you get this case and a lot of people don't know how to solve this F2L case in this particular way from this angle. Uh, most people would do it like this. Um, to pair them up, but from the back here, there's another way, which is R U to R prime. So if you do that way, then you end up with an OLL skip. So again, faster. Now again, we have more tricks. So if you have the big block here, same case, this time yellow's on the front, you can just insert the edge again, just like before. Now you have this case, which I talked about already. So you can use one of the two tricks that I talked about. And now faster. And now if you get the same block in this case, and this time yellow is on the side, then you can just do what I say is the normal way of doing this, which is insert the corner and then solve this F2L case, which is like this and faster. So for this case, when yellow is all on top, all you have to do is insert the edge and then you get this case, which I talked about. So you can do it in like this way 
now faster. Now, if you're facing this side, then there is another way you can do it. And that goes like this. L prime U2 L U prime, L prime U prime L. And that sets up this case. Then just insert this like that or without a rotation like that. Now faster. So for this case, when OLL is solved, what you can do is RU2 R prime as usual to pair it up. Then instead of inserting right away, you do RU2 R prime again here. And then lastly, you will insert this pair into here with RU2 R prime again and faster. Lastly, for this case, there's not really an easy way to do this one. So what you can just do is just do the normal way of inserting it and then know what OLL you're going to get, followed by whatever you normally do, whether it's ZBLL, COLL, or regular OLL. So now faster, it could be like this. So I've pretty much covered all the cases I'm gonna talk about today, but there's still this case of just a pair with all of this done on top. This falls into the category of winter variation. And if you wanna learn some easy cases for winter variation, the video will be on the end screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.